There are many types of sensor size out there, large format, medium format, full frame, APS-C, microphone third. It is important to get a better understanding of the sensor size before buying your camera. It is because different sensor size serve with different purpose. I will not say the larger the better, but we'll talk about this later. However, in this video, we're just going to take a look at the most common sensor size in the market. There are three sensor sizes out there, for example, full frame, APS-C, and Micro Four Third. Before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, my name is Jason, I do a lot of videos about photography and videography. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button right down below, and don't forget to click the bell button on the side of it, so you get notified when every single video drops. So, let's jump into the video. What is up everyone, Jason here with J Studio and today we are going to take a look at the sensor size, which one suits you the best. Basically, I'm just going to split this into four different categories so you get a better understanding of the sensor size. Number one, image quality. Talking about image quality, what I mean is that the feel and the look of the output. Based on my research, the average of the crop sensor pixels we're looking at 26 to 16 megapixel or lower. On the other side, the average of the full frame sensor pixels we're looking at 26 to 61 megapixels or higher. Now I know, I know, and there's a lot of people might gonna say that some of the small sensor size camera do have almost the same amount of pixels as the larger sensor camera. But think about it. If you're using a small sensor, for example, APS-C or even Micro Four Third, you have to cram every single pixel into that one small tiny little sensor. Two weeks ago, the Slanted Lens came out with a video about camera sensor size comparisons. They did mention that when the sensor getting smaller, things start to become fuzzier in the image. By using a small sensor size camera, the lights tends to focus on the smaller area. You'll notice that the details getting softer and softer and that is why you get less details for the image. Number two, crop factor. There are pros and cons in every single crop factors. It can be affect the image frame when we compare it with different sensor size. If we focus on the larger camera sensor sizes, good thing right here is that we'll be able to get wider shots easily. I know that we can get a wide angle lens to achieve a wider shots for every single camera sensor size. But then again, it is still very difficult for us to find a wide angle lens with a low distortion when we get a small sensor size. From what I know, the best option in the market is Laowa 12mm f2.8 zero distortion full frame lens. Laowa 9mm f2.0 distortions APS-C lens and Laowa 7.5mm f2 micro four third lens. And if you convert into crop factors, you'll be getting 13.5mm for APS-C and 15mm for micro four third. And it still doesn't get as wide as full frame does. But the downside for the full frame sensor is that you will be having a difficulties on getting a tighter shots. Yes. As I know, we can get a 2x convert, teleconverter in order to get a tele effect, but then again, we have to pay more for that. And it is expensive for us to pay for the full frame lens already, and yet we still have to pay another 600 bucks for the converter. A small sensor size allows us to get a tighter shots easily, and it is not expensive as we get in the full frame. We'll talk about the price later. Number three, low light performance. I know a lot of videos already covered by a lot of content creators out there, but what you need to know is that the lights start to cut off when the size sensor size gets smaller. The larger the sensor size, the lower the noise will, you will get. Luckily, Sony camera these days did came out with a very good job on the low light performance, but one thing you should know is that the smaller sensor size does affect the amount of light the camera absorb. It will cut up when the size getting smaller. All right, last but not least, price range of the camera. The larger of the sensor size, the price will be getting higher. Yes, 
and no. If you compare it with the Olympus EM1X with the Sony A7 Mark III, you kind of get the price already. Now some of them can be categorized with the pro consumer camera even though it has a small camera sensor size. However, most of the full frame cameras do come with a very high price and it is because the amount of glass and the size of the sensor and of course there are many reasons as well. You might be wondering why many people are choosing full frame. It is easy to get a cinematic look, a creamy bulkalicious effects is one of the reasons. But of course, cinematic look can be formed in many many ways. It is better in low light performance, better dynamic range and more flexible in many aspects. But the downside is that it can be very expensive no matter you're looking at the camera bodies or even lenses. Another downside is that it is difficult to get a tele effect as I mentioned just now unless the camera has a crop mode. It just suits me in many many ways. I need something better in dynamic range, low light performance, very good and then flexibilities. I, it has everything I need. Next. Does a full frame camera makes you a professional? No, your skill does. When is the best time for you to move on or even for you to choose a full frame sensor? The answer is when you can feel the difference between the full frame camera, APS-C or your micro fortress sensor. And that is the moment you should make your own decisions whether you want to move on or even you want to stay in your current situations. All right. That's pretty much all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and hope this video helps you get a better understanding for camera sensor sizes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button right down below. If you think that this video is helpful, click the like button right down below and click the share button to share it to your friends. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.